Installing the Bonix Climb on a brand new Teltonica RUTX 14 router. Let's get to it. We're going to install the Bonix Climb on a brand new um, RUTX 14 uh, Teltonica router. Um, uh, all I've done on this router is just gone through the initial um, setup wizard when you first fire it up. Um, and left everything as default. So once you've logged in, um, you want to put it into advanced mode, which is the first thing that you want to do so you can see all the options that are available to you. Um, also, we need to look at the firmware version. So this is 07016. It's, it's a little bit out of date. Um, but before we do anything, we need to go over to the Bondix website to download the latest version of the client, which will also tell us what firmware we need to be on. So if we head over there now, so if you go to there, you'll get this end user license agreement. So we'll just agree to that. That's no problem. So we've got an RUTX 14. So we need to go to the RUTX series. So as you can see, the RUT 951 and 956, as well as the 950, 955, the 241 and the 240 routers are all supported uh, by the Bondix client currently. Um, so if we click on RUTX, so this is now going to tell us, so this is the most recent client that we've got here, which is version 1.24.1. 1. Um, and that is for firmware 07, uh, sorry, 7063. So that's the firmware that we need to make sure that our router is on. If you try to install the client onto routers that have a different version of firmware to what the the Bondix client is, is requires, you won't be able to install it. It's as simple as that. So what we'll do just for now is we'll download that. That will go into our downloads folder, so that's done. So what we'll do now is we'll head over to the Teltonica router and we'll look about the um, upgrading the firmware. So if we go back over to the router, if you click on the uh, firmware version at the top here, it will take you to the, uh, the firmware screen. Um, so what it will do is it will check now what firmware of, uh, version is available on the router. Now this is Teltonica's mass production. Um, they tend to be one or two uh, releases ahead of what Bondix requires. So as you can see over here, we've got 07066, and what we actually need is uh, 07063. Um, so what do we do? Um, the simplest thing would be to head over to Teltonica's website, and on the home page, what we can do is we can find the IUTX14 there. We can go to firmware, and then what we can do is we can download the version of firmware that we need, which is RUTX 07063. So we'll just click on that. That will now download it into our um, downloads folder. So once that's done and completed, what we want to do is we want to head back to uh, the Teltonica device. So now we want to upload from file, which is absolutely fine. We do want to keep the settings. If you turn this off, it will factory reset it at the same time. So now we want to browse for the image. So if we browse for the image, uh, there it is there, um, 07063, which is that one. So we'll fire that one up. So that will now upload it. It will check the integrity of the file. Uh, it will make sure that it's not corrupt and it's not val and that it's valid. And then it will come up with a um, proceed notice, which will pop up in a second. Uh, once you hit proceed, um, it will then restart the um, the router, apply the firmware update, and then you'll be able to log back in and then continue from there. So we'll just wait for this proceed note to come up. And once it does come up, what we'll do is we'll pause it there. So it's verifying it now. Once the proceed notice does come up and we click proceed, what we'll do is we'll pause the video there and then we'll come back once the firmware update has been completed. So there's the proceed now. And now what we'll do is we'll pause the video and then we'll pop back once it's done. As you can see, uh, we're back, the router is rebooted, and you can see here 07063, we've got the, um, the, the new firmware, and also we've got a nice shiny new uh, um, interface as well. So now we're ready to install the Bonix client. So it's very easy, it's very straightforward. Um, we need to go down to system, we need to go package manager, and then upload. Uh, we now go and browse for the um, the client that we downloaded earlier on when we visited the Bondix website. So if we click on browse, um, there it is there. The same client is there. So we'll click on open. 
So again, it will do the same sort of thing. It will process the file. It will make sure that it's all okay. You will get a, um, an unauthorized uh, package alert here. Um, it's absolutely fine to go past this. Um, so we'll hit proceed. So that will now install the package. You will get a notification to reboot. You should do that and then log back in. We won't reboot it on this occasion because we want to go in and have a look at the client to make sure that it's all been um, set up correctly. So there is the reboot notice. Uh, we'll just click on the X in the top corner for now. Um, so what we'll do then is we'll now go over to network and you'll see that the Bondix client is now installed and then we've got settings there. So this is now ready to take in any details of uh, how you're gonna connect to the Bondix server, whether it's your own or whether it's one of our hosted servers, the information that you'll have there will go into here and then you'll be able to start bonding the connections. So it recognizes that there's two mobile connections in here and you've got the wired WAN connection. So that's absolutely fine. A Couple of things you need to do before you start off. Firstly, down at the bottom here under network, you've got DNS. We highly recommend you add at least Google's DNS into this. So 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8 and 8.8.4.4. It just allows for quicker resolution and just helps for um, making things run a bit more smoothly uh, with Bondix as well. So we've got that. If we go back to Bondix, so what you've got down here, you've got status. So the status here as it stands would show uh, information about the tunnel that's currently connected and the channels. So those are the individual connections. So that would be the two mobile connections. Um, it could be the wired WAN. It could be a Wi-Fi WAN that's been set up on this router, or it could be a second wired WAN. Those will all show up here and they'll show which ones are connected and whether there's any errors on those or not. The monitor, which we won't have on here at the moment because it's not connected to a a Bondix server, but this is uh, shows real-time traffic stats across all of the uh, channels that are connected. This will show things like packet loss, latency, uh, and things like that. And you've got quality of service. So we can set up or add uh, quality of service rules. Uh, things like if you want to prioritize uh, teams or Zoom traffic over everything else to make sure that you have a, a good quality of service when you're using those applications, this can be done here. All of this is covered in another video. So yes, yeah, so that's it. It's as simple as that. You've now got the Bondix client installed. You've got the latest firmware on your uh, router. Uh, you're good to go. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.